Hello everyone, this is Daniel with Del and Artie, and I'm here tonight playing with my aqua pigment paper and aqua pigments from Brutus Monroe. So I'm pretty happy to be here tonight. I haven't been on in a little bit, but um, I'm here tonight, happy to play along and to talk with you guys. So say hello and join with me in this fun adventure of making backgrounds with aqua pigments. Hi Evie. How are you? Hi Sandra. Hi Heidi. So I've got my uh, aqua pigment paper out here. I'm going to make several backgrounds real quick. I want to show you guys how easy it is to make these backgrounds with aqua pigments. And you guys can pick the colors with me if you like. Um, we'll s just uh, have a bunch of fun and make several of these. And if I run out of aqua pigment paper, I have some other um, watercolor paper here that we can use. So today on my Instagram and Facebook accounts, I posted this card, which is not made with aqua pigments. It's made with some uh, markers. My wife's going to be watching here behind me and seeing if anyone says hi to me or talks to me. She can tell me what's going on because sometimes I miss the conversation going on over there. I use these markers from Thank Studio 71. Here. Thanks, Heidi. And um, these are just watercolor markers that came in a, a card kit from the paper crate. And I will show you how I use them in just a minute and how I did this background. Um, but it's basically the same concept that I'm going to be using with aqua pigments. So stay tuned for the markers. Maybe you don't have aqua pigments in your stash. Um, or you have some other kind of watercolor that you want to use. Um, I'm partial to aqua pigments. But Paula's, uh, my wife's name is Paula. Hello everyone. So glad you're joining in. Thanks for saying hi. Hi Dee. Hi Heidi. Hey Mrs. Just tell me if they say something to me directly, okay, Ma? Um so Paula's this is Paula's first time moderating here with me. We're seeing how this works. Hi Daniel and Paula. Hi Paula. Hi Paula. Hi, Paula. <laughs> Evie speaks Spanish. She's from Puerto Rico, I believe. Yep. Struggle with L. Oh, este amor. Why don't you want me to tell you? Solo cuando me hablan a mí directamente. Oh, okay. O me hacen una pregunta. Si no, ellos todos están escuchando. <laughs> I just was speaking to my wife in Spanish, so she speaks English. I'm just sometimes we switch back and forth. <laughs> Hi, Wilda, ¿cómo estás? Okay, so let's get started on our first background. I'm going to get my heat gun up here because we're going to use that so we don't have to wait for things to dry because I'm impatient that way. But which colors would you guys like to use? What are your favorite colors? We'll do, we'll do like four or five backgrounds because they don't take any time to do and then maybe we can use one to make a card. So I already know what my favorite colors are. Blue, green, and, and um, Georgia Blair turquoise. turquoise. Turquoise, huh? Don't you? Everyone loves turquoise, don't they? <laughs> D Maddox says plum. Plum. Ooh, the plum. Ooh, that's right. We have plum now, don't we, from the, from the inspiration box this month. Ivy says purple. So that purple and plum are similar, right? Um, I will have to find my plum. Purple again. Here it is. Here's the plum. There's just a little bit. I don't have a lot of that. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so purples and, tea and turquoise are winning out. So it looks like... You guys want to see that we'll do that one first how about that all right so what i do 
to make this background. I hope you guys will try this as well. And get rid of this light from over here. You guys hear my kitty whining? He's so sad he can't go back outside. But um, we can't be having that now, can we? And now I'm going to try this plum out here. Now I'm going to water these down just a little bit because full strength is beautiful, but at the same time, I want to. Uh, Are these is he what? Better. Um, yeah, he's getting better. He's on the mend. He is on the mend, both of them. They were both walking around with uh, Cone. cones on their heads. So I'm just kind of mixing these together a little bit in the middle. And I'm going to try to push that out just a little bit that way and this one a little bit this way. You guys can see what I'm doing, right? All right? That poor little guy wishes he could go outside. All right. He he waited till I got on YouTube to start whining. Okay. Trudy says she's where she chipped in. Hey, Trudy. Welcome. She's asking, is that your cat? That's my kitty. Oh, All right. Are wondering so where the kitty is. <laughs> plum is just a little lighter than I expected. Or maybe I got a little too much water going on. All right, let's push my pigments back up here a little. <laughs> Sandra says that her dog is running around looking for your cat. Oh, no. <laughs> now, this is going to have an interesting effect because the... Um, you get him votes for purple. Oh. Because the... Um, it's, it's kind of dripping down the side, which is kind of a cool thing to do to happen. So let's see what else. Let's add a little bit more purple here, or plum. And we're going to dry this so it will straighten out. <laughs> yep, that's my wife, Paula Tree. She just got back from visiting some friends from church. Now, this is an interesting effect. Sometimes the results are unexpected, and I didn't expect this one, but it's cool. To kind of have like, a, at the end of it. First time I ever heard her talking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not my first time, I tell you that. Mm. <laughs> so, um... I imagine when I see a result like this, what, what I can do with the background, like what could this be? Um, what could actually be happening here? What could I put on it? And um, then I'll make a card with, with the idea that comes to me. Isn't that cool? So let's try 
That was plum. Let's try violet. I'm not going to get rid of the aqua pigment pigments that I have out. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to add to what I have already. So I'm going to get another sheet over here. Nice, Trudy. Trudy says I finally finished the colors I originally planned for you. But right now, doing owls. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at that. All right. Let's try this one. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> right? That's where it came from, actually. That's exactly where it came from, Tree. All right, so look at the difference between violet and plum. The plum is a darker, like a blacker purple, than the plum is a brighter. I'm sorry, the violet is a brighter purple. All right, so we still have a bunch of aqua pigments here. We cannot let them go to waste, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is because you got to be careful not to mix yellows and oranges with purples, but you can mix reds, right? So if I take out my red... Oh, let's see, fuchsia would be okay. Red violet would even be better. So here, I'm gonna take out my red violet and I'm gonna put that on this end over here. Trudia says that reminds me of a waterfall. Hey, that's a great idea too, Trude. It's a great idea. All right, so I've got Vi red, violet, violet, and turquoise going on here. Mm, I'm confused about time out for two. Oh, <laughs> Trudy gets put in time out by YouTube for commenting sometimes too much. Oh, okay. She's a little more expressive than everyone else. <laughs> All right, Trudy. Look at this. <laughs> I'm always, always thinking of a very diplomatic way of saying things too. I'm a middle child. I'm the peacemaker. I'm a pastor. So I always have to keep the peace. <laughs> Right? You know what I mean, Georgia? Always trying to keep the peace between the others. Trudy says she's the oldest. 
Trudy's the old. She's the boss, then. My sister Mary, she's the oldest. She is the boss. She says, yes, sir. Sandy Mueller, middle child. Muir. I, I think that's how you say your name, Sandy. Right? Muir. All right. So we've got, I think we can make one more out of this. Let's see. Just dragging. She says she's her and then two brothers. She is the baby of her brother, of her four brothers. Mm, this is cool. This one's going to be mostly purple, apparently. Unless I can get some more. Let's do some red in here. My red. There's red. Let's put some red in here. Trudy says it was rough being the oldest. Gotta be the example for siblings. <laughs> then D says life was not fun growing up. <laughs> Ooh, look at that effect. I love it. I don't know that I can sit here for an hour. You don't have too low. Isn't that beautiful with the red and the purple? The only child of five. So I have links to all of these in my description there, if you guys are interested. I haven't decided, true. I have not decided if I'm gonna, um, or what stamp sets to use, if I'm gonna use any. Some really interesting effects we've got going on here. I think I would like to change colors up though. So let's just clean up what we've got here. Tina Crazy says hiya. Hi Tina. Let's make sure I get all of this up because we don't want it contaminating the other colors. D says, I'm putting it on the big screen so my comments might lag a bit. Okay, D. Trudy says, prayer request. Oh my, what's going on? Ivy Sierra says, I'm back. Donde fuiste, Ivy? So what colors are we going to do now? I have green, yellow, I have all the colors. So. And Newman says, hubby, Paul Newman. Yellow, green, green, pink, coral, magenta, fuchsia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's terrible. I've had a kidney infection one time. It was awful. You guys got any preferences for colors right now?
I'm thinking we may need to cut up some more some cardstock since I'm out of aqua pigment paper. Okay, DDN. <laughs> yellow, Evie says. Okay, we'll try yellow. Orange and yellow. I think orange, yellow, and coral would go really well together. Orange, yellow. Let's see if we can get some coral going on here. We'll use those, those three. Now this uh, kind of, this technique was uh, shown to us, remember, by Ashley Tucker, who is my, my friend, the person who has taught me so much about card making. She made herself a friend. I made her a friend. <laughs> we forced each other to be friends, basically. <laughs> oh, I know. It was really nice here. Let's try these three colors. So we have yellow, orange, and coral. I'm just going to smush them together. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Love it. Aren't they beautiful, Georgia? That yellow is brilliant. fingers off. Get that nice and dry there. Thanks, D. Yeah, Trudy, uppercase is shouting. We don't want to yell at people. <laughs> I think I need another color coming out here. So I think I'm going to put some more yellow down since I really like the way that looks. Ooh, I like that yellow too. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And I'm going to add a little coral too because it's getting a little orangey there in the middle. So let's get this coral out here. God bless you guys for having such patience to sit here and do this. <laughs> Did you guys hear my wife? Oh, yeah, right, Sandra? Isn't it beautiful? This is watercolor paper, Tina. Um, aqua pigment paper from Brutus Monroe. 